everybody, welcome back to another edition of Pub Crawlers. Today we have a lot of little wines, and Kevin. Ha, ah, and Mr. Mark. Ah, and Mr. Mark. All right, very cool. So please explain all these tiny little bottles of wine. Actually, they're not tiny little bottles of wine. Sorry. It's Copa de Vino. Mm. It's actually wine by the glass. Didn't okay. they write a song about that? No, that was Copacabana. Please oh, start singing. Come on. Copa. No, Copacabana. That's him. Yeah, but that was it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> something else. What this is, it's actually Copa de Vino. It's wine by the okay. glass. It's actually wine in a glass that is sealed. For freshness. For freshness, yes. Ah. It's a. It's actually a patented process. This Every last one is actually sealed. I heard it. Ooh. And then they can also be recapped. Shake it. What'll happen? We don't eat. You can shake it. You can, oh, I ain't gonna drop this one. Don't drop that one. I could actually one. drop this one. And what happened? It did not break. They're all in single serve plastic wine glasses. They can be thrown in an ice chest. They can be, cool. wait, so they can be thrown on a cement if you want. They won't break. Don't throw it too hard. This is the perfect. Nice. Tear. Yes. It's the perfect huh. uh, package really for a wine if you want a glass of wine. Hmm. Or if you and a bunch of your buddies are going anywhere, or your girlfriends, your wives, anything, you can actually buy them all singles. You buy what you like, you buy hmm. what you like, I buy what I like. We throw them in an ice chest if they need to be refrigerated. It's just a perfect vessel. Cool. So they sell these as singles, but they also sell them in packs? I mean, there are, in some places, four packs are available, Lots but most places you're going to find singles. This, and like I said, this is the White Zen. Okay. It's just true to the varietal. What is it? It's a blush, a, sim, a sweet blush wine. It smells like a White Zen. It's pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. It's actual, it's like the wine is good. It's hmm. the true to the varietal. Each one is what it should be. Right. That's not bad. All right. Well, I'm curious to get to all the rest of these, man. Man, I'm this. impressed. And also, it's cold. Thank you for bringing some cold wine. Well, I brought some room temperature over there. The reds, which should have. I'm should okay be with room that. Temperature. Next one, we actually we'll go to the Pinot Grigio. Let me take care of that. You for want to take care of that? Oh man, you good. And a little bit about the wines also. The What's founder is, a, is actually James Martin. Okay. He's from Dallas, Oregon. Dallas. Yes, Dallas, not so Dallas. Like Dallas. Dallas with an E? Dallas? Yes, D-A-L-L-E-S. Okay. It's a small town. What he did was, he about six years ago, he started the process. It took him about two years of trial and error, mm -hmm. and it turned his dream into reality. And that's where Copa de Vino was actually born. Mark, is cool. Is this the guy that was on Shark Tank? Yes, twice. Twice? He was actually on Shark Tank twice. I remember I remember them talking something about the container itself, and mm -hmm. oh. they didn't know what they wanted to do, and but I've never seen him on there. And cool. this is a perfect example of a delicious Pinot Grigio. Fruit forward, the citrusy fruits. It is. It's very good. You know, for a tiny glass of wine that's in a plastic glass, Pretty good. That's not bad. I'm very, very surprised. And you said for a tiny glass of wine. But is this actually, an actual self-serving? Yes, this is one serving of wine. How many ounces are in here, does it say? I want to say a 6.25 Oh, it says, it says 187 milliliters. 187 and 187, so. which is one pour. So each one of these is an actual glass. Very cool. So what kind of price range are you looking at if you're going to pick this up in the store? Around three bucks. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Still not bad. So. Four of these would would be equivalent to a traditional bottle of wine, right. or three. Correct. Four, four, four. would be mm -hmm. four. Yes. Another good thing about these, well, uh, besides you know each to each his own, everybody wants to drink a different wine. Another good thing about it, you ever cook with wine? Mm. Every now and then, yeah, I do white wine. A lot of people do. Not the, now, a lot of people will drink the wine <clears throat> while they cook. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> I called. De I definitely never do <laughs> that. That's called marinating. <laughs> <a chef. Yeah. laughs> and actually, it's called cooking with wine. You know, you have a glass of wine, and every now and then you can pour a little bit in your food if you like. So why is it every time we talk about wine, we talk about food? Because it's the perfect pairing is wine and food and wine. I agree with you. Um, and another good thing, like I said, if you're just, you want to cook a chicken. You're cooking chicken and you want to put a little wine, and you're not going to plan on drinking a bottle, right here. You have more than enough wine, red or white, to put in your dish. 
as well as drink the rest of it. Correct. Yes. So, Mark, I'm noticing they have a, uh, a freshness date, freshest mm -hmm. buy, yes. and this is at the end of 2019 uh, next year. Um, mm -hmm. After you take the foil off, does it re res resort back to how you open a regular bottle of yes. wine if you Any. need to drink it in one day or three days? And this one is a non-issue <clears throat> because you're going to drink it. Just you know, in case, you, you never know. Nah. I was about to say the same thing. If you yeah. open this, I hope you drink the whole thing. Well, if you're marinating the chef, toward the end of the night, the chef may not be able to finish. Well, if you, you drink all five of these, then yeah, <laughs> that may happen. Okay. This one is a Chardonnay. <laughs> it's good. You know what it tastes like? Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yeah. It tastes like it's just better than a Pinot Grigio. To each his own. Mm -hmm. That's I, why I like the Pinot so better. Different no, I like this better. Mm. I prefer a Pinot Grigio too. Strictly personal preference. That's right. I, um, it's a little bit drier, less citrusy. Mm -hmm. The Pinot Grigio was a more citrus. I preferred the citrus notes right. versus. But there again, that's another reason for if you and I were going, we're drinking a glass of wine, and we we're only drink one. Stop at the store, got beer, got wine. What would we pick up? One and one. There you go. One really big beer mm -hmm. and one really small wine. <laughs> I'm, I'm eyeballing this red, so let's let's keep rolling. I open this for for him. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> there you go. What do we have here? This is a Merlot. Once you taste it and think about it, very earthy, mm. very dry. See, of all the red wines, Merlot is probably my least favorite. Um, I get like a, when you say earthiness, I'm getting like a... Musky? Yeah. Dirty? That's actually what... I was going to say dirty, but I didn't want to offend wanna, Mr. Oh, no, no. Uh, no, no, it's not... Mr. Copa. Mr. Copa. It's, <laughs> it's actually not the wine. It's the characteristic of the Merlot grape. Okay. That's what you're picking up. And that's why, in a sense, I prefer a cab over a Merlot also, because I don't care for the earth tones. But, once again, personal preference. Mm -hmm. And I see... If I have an idea of what might help this wine out. <laughs> oh, no. This How one. long have you been having that in your pocket? I I'll hope. never tell. <laughs> well, you told me where to buy them at. <laughs> and you only brought one. Uh huh. Oh, this one. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna put that that Luigi costume back on and squash you. Mm -mm. But like I said, very true I'm to the varietal. You have the the Merlot, mm. the flavor of the Merlot grape. More better. <laughs> Front uh, is definitely there, as well as the dryness. More better. It, the, it is dry. You know, out of all of them so far. Now, my personal preference is the Merlot because I'm not really a, a white wine drinker. I mean, those are very good, but this tastes to me like any other Merlot that I would buy at the store. You're so right. And it's, it's so convenient, though. Mm -hmm. So now I'm really curious. This is the cab? Yeah, so I'm very curious to taste this one to see if it tastes comparable to, you know, your, um, your average cab that you would buy at the store, the Dubois, et cetera, whatever. And remind me at the end, we need to check Kevin's pockets. I'm not putting make my hand sure. in his pocket. <laughs> make sure he's not taking our wines, too. My I was wines. just thinking I should have saved half of that piece of chocolate, but it, it's gone. You don't have another one? No. Oh. No, sure don't. Get out of here. Go find some more chocolate. <laughs> Hands. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. That's a good producer right there. <laughs> but you only threw me one? Man. No, no, that's fine. I don't want to. I don't want it. Flying chocolates. Whoa! There you go. Two for two. Mm -hmm. Actually, for our guests, because I'm polite. Delicious. And there again, what you're oh. talking about with the Merlot is not what's in this glass. This is the cab. This is the flavor of the Cabernet Sauvignon mm. Great. I don't need the chocolate. I'll give it to you. That's how much I like this cab. We just hit a new level of our friendship. How you like that? You gave, you know I what? Gave you a chocolate. You take it. I'm going to enjoy this one. I'm going to save this for later. <laughs> Put it back in your pocket where it came from. There you go. And the Recycling. Too, whether you're on a boat, you're tailgating, anything. This is, mm. you know, you can throw it in, like I said, throw it in an ice chest. You can take it to picnics. Any place glass is not allowed. Right. It's not Beach, glass. Beach, whatever. And you can still drink out of a glass versus 
one of those little, the little bottles with the little bitty screw cap. You can't drink out of those. Th <laughs> no. Those are meant to be poured with your. And then what yeah. you pour it in a styrofoam cup. And it tastes yeah. weird. Yeah. yeah. But this, like I said, mm. that's a glass. You know, I, I noticed the the cool little shape too. It looks like a, like a little chalice. Yep. I'm sorry, I turned the label around. But it's okay. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. And also, I mean, this reminds me of sitting around a fire. Mm -hmm. You know, a bunch of good friends, cold weather. They could play that song then. Okay, you can play your song. Yeah. You can, and you can br bring chocolate. Yeah. I'll bring everything else. This yeah. is 100% recyclable, too. There you so, go. Eco friendly. Right. Very good. That's Super some good cool. stuff, Mark. Mm. Hey, you got a mess over there. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Try this one. You'll be surprised. I am. Pretty good. Not me. I knew it was good. That's why I took it here to show y'all. I appreciate it, Mark. Well, that's why we asked you to come on, is to teach us these things, because he, we, don't know any better. But I no. knew enough to bring a piece of chocolate. You always have chocolate in your pockets, because he introduced you to it. You know this. That's right, that's right. I was trying to get away with it. But you know, I'm gonna drink the rest of this and enjoy it. But Mr. Mark, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Bring more chocolate next time. You but uh, guys, subscribe. Next video, send Kevin more chocolate, and check out Copa. It really will surprise you. We're pub crawlers. Keep crawling with us. Cheers.